Hello guys. Oh my god, I have filmed this intro so many times. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm always nervous when I'm starting something new. Oh my gosh, I have, I have the jitters. First of all, before we get started, hello, my name is Brooke. In case you've never seen me before, this is your first time ever seeing my face. Hello. Grab a glass of wine, grab a glass of water, hydrate. I've got some kombucha here for the probiotics. So cheers to that. Let's get started with this video. In this video, I'm going to give you a really, really exciting announcement, and then I am going to get into my financial journey and my financial story and my background, and I think that that's really important to hear, even if you've kind of heard tidbits on my OnlyFans or um, my Patreon or my YouTube or whatever, if you've heard kind of the story, the gist, I feel like it's still important to hear this whole story in this video. Um, so please try to listen till the end if you so care to. Um, but if you don't have the time, I understand. I'm a busy gal as well. I'm, I totally get it. <laughs> no hard feelings. Um, but first, with the really exciting announcement, because again, I want to get into it right away. Don't want to waste your time. It's something that you guys have been badgering me about for the last seven months since I had a TikTok go viral about uh, selling feet pictures. And basically, the TikTok was supposed to be a funny joke for my 16,000 followers at the time. And it was just supposed to be like, ha ha, funny. Um, I've been selling my feet pictures for the last six months and paying my rent with it, and nobody knows. Turns out now, 13 milli, they know. Okay, so... <laughs> That's exciting. Um, nobody was supposed to know. It was supposed to be funny, haha joke. Like nobody tell anyone. My little TikTok community, and now it it has blown up. And I've made several YouTube videos about it. My main channel is ASMR content for the relaxation and the tingles. Um, but I have made a couple videos on there detailing, you know, how to get started, different tips and tricks that I have for getting started to sell in feet pictures or fetish content online. And then this channel, Actually I Can, is kind of the main, like this is where my business hub is. This is where I talk about my business. I show you the day in the life of a stay-at-home mom, entrepreneur, boss-ass bitch. And <laughs> um, I just go over like businessy things, right? But um, those videos... I've gotten comments on them, so many comments, dozens and dozens and hundreds of comments and messages over the years, or over the months, I should say, that have said, I love all of your information. Thank you so much for sharing. However, I just have so many questions about like exactly how to get started and what to do. And I totally feel you on that. I totally do. I had a teacher in high school who used to just like, we would go into class, he would press play on an, a, a movie or a documentary, and then we would have a test like in two weeks about it. And it, he never gave us direction on how to write notes. He never told us what was going to be on the test. He, he was just like, take out your notebook, figure it out. And we were like, okay, but I work so much better and I learn so much better if I can just be there one-on-one -on -one <laughs> with the expert asking questions or with the teacher or with my boss or whoever. And they can literally like hand it to me on a plate and be like, this is it. This is for you. Um, that's just how I learn. And apparently a lot of you learn that way as well. So I have decided to come out with my very own masterclass, my very own um kind of, how would I say this, like a boss bitch uh, academy course, if you will. <laughs> and this course is going to detail and outline the entire process getting started from start to finish, how to write your bio, how to make your tags, how to transfer people from one platform to the other. It will be a very in-depth and easy to follow outline for you. This will be in the form of a Zoom call. So this Zoom call, how it's going to work is I'm going to go through the outline. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, tell you my story and my credentials. And then I will have like an open question portion where everybody can just chime in and ask questions. Brooke, exactly how much money do you make? Do you have proof? <laughs> um, how do you 
how do you get paid from clients? What exactly do you tell your clients? You can ask me anything, anything at all, and I will answer it for you in case I didn't already go over it in the first part of the masterclass. So this will be a one-on-one ish experience because it won't be like just me and you on a zoom call it'll be me and a bunch of you guys on a zoom call but you will have the chance to ask me one-on-one your questions it'll be a really really fun time we're gonna have notebooks you guys can have a glass of vino you know whatever you want to do you can get some Reese's cups eat those while we do our little class and you are gonna leave feeling so inspired and so motivated that it will like lay the groundwork for you to get your business started because the best thing about doing work like this is that it can be a good avenue even if you're not passionate about it even if you're not passionate about um, the content that you're making itself or your clients themselves it can be a really good avenue to make your money and then use that money to do something else that you love to start your own business doing something else that you love um, I know that I am using a generous portion of my income from the last month to start another business and it's it's totally unrelated it's selling kids toys unrelated but uh, the point is you can use this money even if you don't want to continue doing this forever to start your next big thing and your next dream and that's all I want for you guys is for your dreams to come true and for you to stop worrying about the debt collectors who call you multiple times a day about your car that breaks down every five months I, I just want you to be free from those financial worries and you'll see why when I tell you my financial story but um Yes, and it'll give you the opportunity to really just get juicy, to get juicy and to get um, super detailed and um, ask the questions that maybe you wouldn't be ballsy enough to ask in a YouTube comment. So if you want more information about this masterclass and know exactly when it drops for enrollment, um, you are going to have to go to my Instagram. My Instagram is at best life by Brooke. Easy enough. Brooke with an E, um, and it's linked in the description box. And what you're going to do is you're going to send me a DM. Follow me, of course, because, you know, it's it's rude if you don't. Um, so then you're going to follow me and send me a DM. And in the DM, I want you to include your preferred email address that you check all the time. So basically, once I get you your email, I'm going to add you to my email list. I will not spam you. I will not. <laughs> I'm literally just going to use it specifically for the information on when the masterclass enrollment opens and then, you know, the dates for different Zoom calls because I'm going to do multiple dates. That way, if somebody can't make it on a Sunday night, we'll do it on a Tuesday early morning or something like that, you know. So I'm going to have multiple dates for you guys to choose from. And I think this will be a really, really beneficial option for you to get your, your business jump started and to get you super fired up and motivated and to really just help you realize that you can do this. If I can, like I swear to you guys, I am the least confident I feel like I am like a three out of 10. <laughs> I am not very smart. I mean, I pick up on things pretty easily, but I'm not like the smartest girl in the whole world. I don't have all the connections. I don't have all the contacts. I don't know anybody famous. I don't have like a huge following or anything like that, but I still make it work and I still support my family and support my business um, or my, my household in general. I've made over $50,000 in the last year specifically working for myself from home not an mlm just myself and so i feel like i've got some credentials baby i got some info to share with you so if you're interested in hearing what i have to say definitely head over to my instagram and send me a dm with your email make sure that it's the right email so that i know i'm sending the emails to the right people and we will do this thing. We will get this started. And I'm really, really, really excited to do so. I've been planning it and thinking about it for months and months and months. And then I'm just really going to hammer down and go hardcore. I'm renting an Airbnb um, at the end of this month for literally nothing but just sitting down and making everything come to fruition so that we can do this masterclass and have it be the most successful possible for you to make money. So anyway, speaking of money... <laughs> Let's get into my financial story. Maybe this will help you kind of understand where I came from. So I grew up with money. <laughs> Whoa, 
I wasn't expecting that. So I, I grew up with money and I didn't realize that my parents were wealthy until, mm, until, um, like people would come to my house and I remember one specific instance, a guy came to my house. We were working on a project in seventh grade and he was like, wow, I thought you were poor. And I was like, huh? And he was like, I thought you were poor. And I was like, why? And he was like, because you wear ugly clothes that look that make you look poor. So here's the deal. I grew up with money, but I also grew up with a very, very frugal mom who grew up with nothing. Like my mom was dirt poor when she was growing up. And so she still has like a poor girl mindset. And I think that that's actually really important to have is that broke mindset where even if you have money, you're like, no, it's not a priority. I'm not spending money on it. That's how you save your money. I tell you what. Anyway, so uh, I grew up with money, didn't realize it uh, until later when I realized how privileged I was. I was able to, you know, go on my German trip with all my German class. We went to Austria and Switzerland and Germany and um I was able to go on vacations with my family. I never had like Hollister clothes and I never had Welch's fruit snacks. I always had the fruit smiles from Walmart and I never got like Heelys or Etnies or Vans or anything like that. But um, I had everything I needed. So uh, anyway, (laughs) moving on from that, I moved out of my parents' house And I had been burned really bad by an MLM called Mary Kay. And I ended up spending like seven or eight thousand dollars. (sighs) And it was rough, man. It was really rough. And then I went vegan. And so I quit because I was like, I can't sell this anymore. It's not vegan. And um, I'm still vegan, by the way. But uh, yeah, I was like, I can't sell this anymore. So I just have to quit. And so I was eight thousand dollars in the hole from that. I had started making my money back. I had a few thousand in the bank from working and living at home, not having to pay any bills. And then I met my fiance and within three weeks, we were like, let's move in together. You want to move out of your parents' house? I want to move out of my parents' house. Let's do it. So we moved into this place. And since neither of us really had much credit, I had pretty good credit considering I had very little um, credit history, but my fiance's credit was very poor and... So when we moved in, our landlord, we were very open with him about that. And he was like, okay, well, that's fine. You just have to pay three months down instead of two. Oh, three months down. That's a lot of money. So it was $12.50 times three. I don't have my glasses on. I can't do math. So I'm not going to tell you how much that is, but it was a lot of money. And we moved in here and immediately... (laughs) my health declined because I got a birth control implant in my arm right here, the neck splenon. And the neck splenon um, had very bad side effects for me. I went cuckoo bananas. I was in physical pain, like horrible stomach pain that I have no idea what it was, but it was atrocious, horrible, horrible pain. I was in and out of the ER multiple times a week. And then mentally, I was having screaming panic attacks. Like, I'd never had this experience before. And I was screaming all night long till like 5 in the morning. I don't know why my neighbors never called the police. It was terrifying. And my stomach pains were so bad that I would be awake all night long from pain. I couldn't sleep. And then when the, fa- when the pain finally got so bad, I went into the shower and I laid down in the shower and let the hot water just run onto my stomach. And that would help me feel better enough to fall asleep. And so I would fall asleep in the shower and eventually be woken up when the water got really cold. And then after that, I would come downstairs if I could make it down here. Normally my stomach hurt too bad for me to make it down the stairs so my fiance my boyfriend at the time would come downstairs make me a hot pack and then I would lay down with the hot pack on my stomach until I could fall asleep so I was up all night whether it was with pain with panic attacks either way I couldn't work at all I had every intention of working Um, But then once we moved in, I spent all my savings on the down payment for this place. I couldn't work anymore. Thank God um, my fiance could work at the time. And so it was all good for a while. 
until he got sucked into an MLM because we've both always wanted to work for ourselves. We've always wanted that dream. And he was pretty successful in the MLM um, a few years prior. And so he was like, I can just replicate what I did before. Turns out he couldn't. And now that MLM, World Ventures, has filed for bankruptcy. (laughs) So um, yeah. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, so he was like, Brooke, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to pursue this MLM full force, 100%. We're going to make this work. And I said, okay, baby, I love you and I trust you. And I still couldn't work at this time. Basically, long story short, um, neither of us were pulling in any income and I was using our, my credit cards to pay for our bills. That sucked for a while, but we were able to keep up with the little money that we were making, just like very little money. We were able to pay for those bills until, um, we missed one month, one month. Cause all we had had to go to rent. So all of my other bills, like the recurring subscriptions, the water, the utilities, like everything, we missed one month and then I got a job and I was so stoked to finally have a job. I was feeling better. I was about to get the next one on removed. And so I was really feeling good and I was starting to work again, making an income and I could have paid off our bills. I really could have, we could have made it work between him and I, we could have paid off all of our debt until the late fees started coming in the um, overdraft fees started coming in and all of a sudden we found ourselves in a lot of shit. Me personally, I was in $15,000 of debt, $15,000 of debt and my fiance was in, I don't even know how much, like let's say 14,000 or something like that. He was, it was right around the same And so we were in so much crippling debt and it was all because of ourselves and our own stupid decisions that we had made. And it, it made us so depressed and we still have trauma, like financial trauma. And I don't think enough people talk about financial trauma. Um, sorry, my foot's asleep. I don't think enough people talk about that because you can get financial trauma, from anything. You can get it from your childhood and growing up with no money. You can get it from having a lot of money and then having it taken away from you. You can have financial trauma from anything. And um, we both definitely still suffer with that. Like there'll be times when like CJ will be like, hey, I really want to buy this. And I'm like, no, you can't. And I like instantly just get that tightness in my chest. Like I'm about to have a panic attack. And it's because I'm so terrified of like not having money anymore that like it's really hard for me to spend money. And thankfully this year I've gotten over that just a little bit because I've had more money coming in and I'm more financially secure, thank goodness. So I've been able to buy home decor for Christmas. I've been able to buy myself a cute sweater on the clearance rack at Target and things like that because... I'm just trying to heal from that trauma of not being able to ever spend money on myself. Like there was a time a couple years ago, maybe even just a year ago, I don't know, where we walked around Kohl's. Um, It's a clothing store. And we walked around Kohl's for two and a half hours. And then I had a panic attack when when it came time to go to the cash register. And I was like, CJ, I can't do this. And he was like, are you fucking kidding me? We've been walking around here for almost three hours. We're buying this stuff. And we had like a cart full of clothes. And I was like, CJ, I can't. I don't want any of this stuff. And I had a complete panic attack, total meltdown. And we abandoned the cart and left the store because I just had so much pent up trauma that was releasing itself because I had no money. So we were finally able to be 100% debt-free this year. At first, I wanted to be debt-free by 23. That didn't happen. And then I wanted to be debt no more by 24. That didn't happen. And then I was like, okay, no more debt, 25. It doesn't have a ring to it, but it'll work. It'll be fine. And I didn't make it at that point either. So then I wanted to be debt-free by Halloween. I was like, I can do this. My money really started racking in this this year, or 2020. Um, so I was like, by Halloween, I can do it. Wow. Turns out, I didn't do it by Halloween. I think it was like 
November 12th or something like that. I don't know. It's on my Instagram if you want to go check it out. So I did become debt-free last year and CJ is debt-free as well. We both are free agents, baby. (laughs) Just trying to build up our poor credit. My credit, by the way, I went from poor to fair. Mm, 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 mm. That's progress, baby. (laughs) And it's only going to go up and up from here because the fact of the matter is my dad, because he had money, he knew how to keep his money and he knew how to make it grow and he knows how to build a really good credit score his credit score is insane you guys and that was always instilled in me so much from when I was younger like saving your money doing investments all of that stuff it was so ingrained in me but then I just I lost control when I was 21 and I never was able to gain it back until now. So now I can start finally (laughs) implementing all of those wonderful things that I learned from my dad back when I was younger and rebuild my credit and change my whole goddamn life. Excuse me. I didn't mean to swear like that. My goodness. I just got very excited. So anyway, um, we hid from the phone for years because every day like three or four times a day starting at eight in the morning and ending at nine o'clock at night we would get calls from debt collectors um i was summoned to go to court by not one but two different uh, debt collection agencies i we were always good with our landlord like we always managed to pay our rent so we were never worried about getting evicted or anything but we did have our power shut off we did have our heat shut off we were screwed like 100% screwed, dude. It was insane. And the fact that we're out of that now and that that weight is lifted off of our shoulders and that we can finally start to heal from this situation is priceless to me. And now that I have a daughter too, like having a kid, man, it changes things. And now that I have a daughter and I know that I can provide for her no matter what, And knowing, my mom always told me this when I was younger. She was like, don't ever allow yourself to be in a position where you have to stay with a man because he makes all the money or because you can't get a job or because he owns the house and the cars or whatever. Like she was like, never depend on anybody else. And I never thought that I would until I was in so much debt. And I was so broke and I was just like, I'm never going to be able to be like self-reliant. I'm never going to be able to be financially independent. And now I am. And I told my mom at Christmas time, we were decorating the tree and I was just like, I love CJ. I really do. Like, that's my fiance. But I was like, the truth is I'm with him because I want to be with him. Not because I have to be, because I don't need him for anything. For the first time in my life, I truly feel like I could be, like if he died tomorrow, God forbid, oh my God, that's so awful to say. But if he did, I would be fine. Like financially, I would be stable. Emotionally, I'd be a freaking wreck. But (laughs) the point is I would survive by myself and I would still be able to thrive in and make my daughter's life thrive and that is just such a priceless feeling of security and comfort and safety and money does not buy happiness it doesn't buy you know everything you could ever want all your dreams will come true if you have money it's not that's not the case but it certainly makes you sleep better at night when you know that you can financially provide for yourself and for your children if shit hits the fan now, I'm not talking about the apocalypse or anything because then, God help you, you, you won't be saved um, by your money. But in any other situation, at least I know that I will be okay and my baby will be okay. And so it's really cool to know that I'm with my fiance because I want to be and not because I'm like stuck. You know what I'm saying? And if you're feeling stuck in life, whether it's with your partner, whether it's in your job, whether it's, you know, being a stay-at-home mom and you're stuck in the house and you have nothing for yourself, or you're sick of buying your husband's Christmas presents with his credit cards, or because you just want to be able to buy yourself a nice pair of shoes, or like I said, a car that works, or your dream car, or your house, your dream house, like 
your goals are are limitless. They really are. Whatever your financial goals are, you can achieve them. And I truly believe that because if if I can, like I said, I'm basically a potato. There, like, there's nothing in here. Um, and I used to be so unmotivated. I used to hate working. I used to hate like having to do things that's the thing I like doing things until I'm like forced to do them and then I don't like it anymore so I used to just have a big problem with staying inspired and staying motivated and now it's like all of these possibilities are right in front of me and I don't feel that way anymore and I'm really excited to make money and to save money and to be able to provide for my family and what I've found is that the people that I've attracted from this com- from the fetish community are so kind to me and so just supportive and understanding when I've had to take breaks from OnlyFans or things like that. They're always so understanding and the ones who aren't, they leave anyway. So it's not like it's not a big deal. <laughs> um but yeah, it's just it's been a great community to be a part of. And if you have pure intentions, if you're not going to be like a total asshole to people and like treat them like, oh, they're just, they're nothing, they're peasants and they're just my fans and I'm a queen. That's just not really the right mindset to have. But if you have pure intentions in your heart and if you have the, what am I trying to say? The, the grit to keep going, even when things are not going as fast as you want them to, when things are maybe more frustrating frustrating than you thought that they would be, if you have the grit to keep going and the pure intentions and the pure heart, then you're going to succeed. Guaranteed. That's it. That's all there is to it. And then a little luck and pixie dust, of course. But uh, yes, I'm going to take a drink. My throat's getting all like... <laughs> so... Now, where am I now? Basically, um, I started doing feet pictures in January of 2020. Best decision I've ever made. And every single month afterwards, I have made more money than I did the previous month. Every single month. The last two months in a row, so November and December, I made over $7,000. Um, if you want to know like specific specifics and like tax information and things like that, you can ask me those questions in the man or manifestation in the master class um and I will be honest with you there but as of like the public I'm not gonna like delve into my exact financial details or anything so um yeah (laughs) I have to like hiccup or burp or something I'm not really sure but I think it's gone Uh, anyway, so yeah I'm not a millionaire and for so long I've waited to make this class and to make this whole community a thing and I've like dabbled in it I've started in it I've dipped my toe in it and then I've backed away because I'm like well I'm not there yet I haven't arrived yet I'm not a millionaire yet I don't have a Lamborghini yet I don't you know all these things that like mark their their markers of success I don't have any of those things yet so I was like I'm not ready But the fact of the damn matter is that I am ready. I have single-handedly paid our rent every single month during a pandemic. I now have my dream ring. I have cars that work and are reliable for my family. And I can afford to get oil changes when I'm supposed to. Not saying I do, but I could if I if I was responsible. Um, I never have to worry about buying healthy groceries for my daughter and um, being able to buy treats for her as well. Like if I'm just in the store and I see a really cool um, Elsa barbie doll or something i can buy it for my for my daughter and i never thought that i'd be able to do that before i never thought i'd be able to just throw things in the cart spend four hundred dollars on groceries and not check my account and be like do i have any money because that happened so many times where we would get to the grocery store and i would buy like thirty dollars worth of things and my card would get declined and i'd be like shit what happened and turns out it was the car insurance that went through or you know you name it. And we were negative 50 bucks. And so we had to just put all the groceries back and turn around. And it was just so embarrassing and just heart wrenching and frustrating as all hell. 
And so the fact that we're not there anymore and we don't feel that anymore, and I have money in my savings accounts, I have money set aside for taxes, I have money set aside for vacations, I have money set aside for emergencies, I have money set aside for just general savings, for um, building a house, I have all these separate savings that I never would have had before. And knowing that I'm going to make money every single month and not wondering, oh no, am I, am I going to get paid my $100 from YouTube or did I not make the threshold for the AdSense revenue so I have to wait another month and then make 175 or whatever. Like, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Most importantly, I have been able to stay at home with my baby. I have been able to watch her grow and help her learn I've been able to pay for a gym membership at Lifetime Fitness, which is expensive as fuck. And I've still been able to afford to go to Lifetime Fitness, you guys. That's a big deal for me. Um, Just so many things. I, I can't even describe all of the little things that have happened in my life that have been so mood changing and life altering. And even though they're small to some people, like buying Christmas decor, or buying a new Christmas tree. Oh my god, you guys, I bought a new Christmas tree last year. The year before that, I didn't even put a Christmas tree up because I couldn't afford to buy a new one. Now, I've got a nice Christmas tree and I'm going to have it for the next five years and or longer if I take good care of it. <laughs> so the little things like that, you guys, make the biggest difference to me. And another thing that's been really important to me has always been supporting small businesses and supporting other people's dreams. Even if nobody else wants to work online, I want to be able to support other people's dreams. So I've been able to start supporting Etsy shops and small businesses that way. Um, And I did the majority of my Christmas shopping on Etsy, which I was so grateful and blessed to be able to do. Because it's something I've always wanted to do, but I've never been able to afford it. And so it's just, it's the little things And all of those little things add up and they make me realize, damn, I am successful. I am successful. I'm not there yet. I haven't arrived yet. But I think with my personality type and my drive to always be better and better and better and better than my previous self, I don't think I'll ever feel like I've arrived. I don't think I'll ever feel like I've made it. But I have gotten pretty close and... I've got some information that I can share. And if I can do that, I'm going to do it. And I don't care if it makes people think that I look bad, if my family doesn't like it. I don't care what anybody else says. I want to help people and that's what I'm going to do. So, cheers to that. Think. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I saw a video of mine, an old video from my YouTube channel, and it was from June of 2019. Yes, June of 2019. And in that video, I was almost in tears because I was saying, um, I have finally, with all of my different platforms combined, I have finally started making $500 a month from YouTube and from Patreon uh, $500 a month. And I was almost in tears because I said that was always my one goal was to make $500 a month online. That was my one goal in life and I've made it. And so to look back on that, that wasn't that long ago, but to look back on it and be like, holy crap, now I've been consistently making over five grand a month for like half a year. From $500 and being in tears and being so grateful to now multiply that times what? 10? 10? Yeah, 10? (laughs) I'm so bad at math. See, again, not the smartest. (laughs) Um, But it's just amazing how far I've come. And that was actually, seeing that video was the one that truly made me snap this into gear and be like we've got to get this done we've got to figure this out I I need to make other people feel this way because I never want other people especially other moms to feel the way that I did where it's like shoot can I afford groceries I'm gonna have to get the crappy groceries and am I gonna be able to afford dog food I'm gonna have to get the crappy dog food sorry passport that's my dog's name um 
yeah, I just, I never want other people to feel that way. So if I can help, I'm going to. And so I hope that you choose to join my masterclass course. Again, go to instagram.com slash best life by Brooke uh, or at best life by Brooke if you have the app and send me a DM with your preferred email and I will get you on that mailing list and you will be the first to know when the masterclass drops and you can enroll. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be finally doing this. And I hope that I said everything the way that I wanted to say it. Sometimes when I get onto these tan- tangents and I like just go off, I'm like, damn, I should have written a script <laughs> because I just like, I don't know if I say things the way that I want to say them. So that's why for the masterclass, it's all going to be a big script until, you know, the question and answer portion. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so grateful that you're here watching me. I'm so grateful if you're still listening. Thank you for hearing my story. Thank you for hearing me out. I am so excited to share my knowledge with you and hope that you can use it and make something freaking badass with it. That'd be so dope. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I won't waste any more of your time. Thank you once again for listening. Follow my social medias um, and follow my, you know, OnlyFans if you want to get some inspiration. (laughs) And I will see you. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassing. I will see you very soon. (laughs) Bye guys.